Hey, what's going on guys? So today's video is gonna be a quick one. Uh, I saw something that I had to have <laughs> and uh, it's all nostalgia. I definitely wasted money, uh, but it wasn't that much money. It was $7 total with shipping and I'm fine with that. So I'll tell you the quick story. I'm on my phone. I'm flipping through Instagram, of course. I see AG Stacking, who's an awesome Instagram uh, metals dealer, does a lot of precious metal stuff. Does a lot of jewelry too. If you guys are looking for like a nice gold necklace or silver necklace or pendant or anything like that, rings, he's got some smoking deals. But anyway, long story short, he has all kinds of random silver and precious metals and stuff. And he happened to have, I think, some Disney dollars. And I thought, oh man, that's pretty neat. I remember Disney dollars. I personally never used them, but I do remember them. Um, but he had a sale for a couple Toys R Us bucks, some Jeffrey bucks. And I thought that was awesome. And the second I saw it, I was interested, but they're already gone. And I want to say he had two different $1 bills in really good shape for like 20 bucks. So for 20 bucks, it is so worth it to me just to have that nostalgia. You know, I grew up with these things. I use these things. So anyway, long story short, what do I do? Hop on eBay. I try to check it out, see if other people are selling them. And for me, luckily, they are. So generally speaking, in, in pretty good shape, uh, a $1 uh, Toys R Us Jeffrey buck, um, it can go anywhere from five bucks to 10 bucks, $20. I saw somewhere a little bit more than that. Um, it really just depends. It's kind of a, it's a rarity and it's an oddity. So what its value is, is whenever someone's willing to pay for it. You know, if there was only one for sale on there and it was 50 bucks and someone wanted it, they would spend 50 bucks on it. Uh, but uh, luckily I saw an auction for these two. One was kind of beat up. It's a little chewed up on the bottom here. Um, and the other one was in much better shape and it was both, I wanna say like three bucks or four bucks. And it was like $3 shipping, something like that. And so I bid on it and I happened to win. It happened to end at an odd time. No one else saw it or didn't care enough and, and I won it. So um, if you're not familiar with Toys R Us, I mean, you, you gotta be really young, I suppose. But Toys R Us was the toy store. If you wanna go to the toy store and buy a toy, Toys R Us is where it's at. Now, this one is from 1992, which is uh, when my wife, Christina, was born. That's her birth year, 1992. Uh, and then this one is from 1990. And if you're not familiar, these are basically just gift certificates. So if you had $5 and you wanted to give someone $5 to spend at Toys R Us, you'd get five singles, or they had a $5 one, they had a $10 one, they had a $20 one. So you can get any amount you want. It just, it's like... In the own little uh, Toys R Us world, it's their own money. Just like the Disney dollars were money for Disney, but it has its regular face value. So if you went to Toys R Us, this will be worth a dollar in Toys R Us. So here's a, a better look at it. Um, but yeah, it's just super cool. I just, I, I wanted it. it, it I can, I'm not gonna use this. I'm not going to Toys, Toys R Us, went out of business, obviously. I wanna say that there's another one left somewhere or they reopened it or something like that, but I don't know, maybe they would accept these, maybe they wouldn't. It doesn't really matter to me. This says, uh, certificate exchangeable for merchandise at the Toys R Us or Kids R Us store. All right, they do have serial numbers like regular money. All right, it says one US dollar, Banknote Corporation of America. Jeffrey the Giraffe, of course, spelled the British way, G-E-O-F-F-R-E-Y. My name, Jeffrey, is spelled the English, or I guess the American way, J-E-F-F-R-E-Y. But anyway, Toys R Us, world's biggest toy store. Just super, super cool. Here's the back. It says, uh, non-replaceable if lost or stolen, non-refundable, uh, non-redeemable for cash. The bearer is entitled to the purchase of merchandise at any Toys R Us or Kids R Us store. But yeah, this is just their money in their little, little world. Um, but yeah, Toys R Us and KB Toys at the mall. That was another store, KB Toys. I think it's K-A-Y, the letter B, toys, or maybe it's K-A-Y-B-E-E. -E. I forget, it's been a while. But anyway, KB, if we were at the mall, you went to KB Toys to get toys. If you weren't at the mall, you went to a dedicated Toys R Us. Now, I grew up in Jersey. There was a Toys R Us like 25 minutes from the house. And yeah, I would say from probably since the day I was born, all the way up until I was like 15 or something, if I got toys, my parents bought it at Toys R Us or KB Toys. That was it. That was the only game in town. They had everything. Now, you got to keep in mind, this is before like Walmarts were that popular. There were Walmarts around, but not like what we think of it today. You have to keep in mind too, uh, there was no Amazon. You know what I mean? People weren't buying toys on Amazon. There was no Target 
or at least there was Target. My parents certainly didn't shop there. You know, so it was a different time. If you wanted to buy a toy for your child, you went to Toys R Us. It's just how it is. Or KB Toys. Uh, of course, you could find toys at like Macy's, you know, the kids section in there, or JCPenney or things like that. People were mail ordering things too. But I'm talking about when I was young, young. So uh, it's just so much nostalgia for me. Uh, and, I, you know, I happen to collect different types of uh, banknotes. So like old dollar bills, old, old U.S. money is cool. This is going to go right into that collection. Even though it's not actual money, uh, it was money in Toys R Us land and Kids R Us land. And uh, that means something to me. It's special to me. I just thought this was pretty neat. Who knows if I ever actually touched this back when I was a kid, this exact bill. Probably not, but who knows? There's no way to no way to know. I know I was using them back then. So anyway, that's it. I thought that was pretty neat. If you guys remember Toys R Us and you think these things are cool, they're relatively inexpensive as far as a collectible goes. You can get a really nice one for 20 bucks or 30 bucks, who knows, and put it in a little frame, maybe a picture of you holding a toy or something in the 90s. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's one of those things I just, I literally wasted money on, but I was totally fine with throwing out $7 for fake $2 because it brought me a ton of joy. And that's what a lot of our money wasting happens, right? People trying to find joy, whether it's entertainment or buying stuff. We, we find joy in, in spending money all different types of ways. And this just happens to be recently how I wasted a couple dollars uh, for a little bit of joy. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> hope, you, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take it easy.